This is a simplified video of transcription, translation, and the makeup of proteins. Let's start by unzipping the DNA so we can take a look at its bases. A single unit of DNA is made up of a 5-carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and one of four different bases. The first one is guanine, which is a purine. The second is adenine, which is also a purine. And the third is cytosine, which is a pyrimidine. And finally, we have thymine, also a pyrimidine. All right, so let's zoom out and watch some transcription. It's important to note that RNA polymerase will actually unzip the DNA and transcribe it at the same exact time. We'll pretend that it's done that. Now, as the messenger RNA sequence gets longer, it actually makes a hairpin sequence, which initiates the termination of transcription. There it goes, and we got our sequence. All right, so there's mRNA, but it's definitely not ready to be translated yet. As you can see, the little red splicing protein will chop out our introns, and then it gets 5' prime capped and 3' prime poly A tailed. That's not a verb. So now we're at now we're in the cytoplasm, and here come the two large subunits of ribosomal RNA. And then here come the transcriptional RNA, which will feed into the RNA, ribosomal RNA and generate a long polypeptide chain. The protein sequence will be sent to the endoplasmic reticulum to fold properly, but we'll take a look at the primary structure. It contains amino acids such as threonine, isoleucine, valine, phenylalanine, histidine, etc. Zooming out, we see the secondary structure, which consists of alpha helices and beta pleated sheets, and the tertiary structure, which consists of the protein folding on itself. And then we have the quaternary structure, which is multiple proteins, and finally we're back to the beginning. And thanks for watching.